Good afternoon. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you're new to the channel, please hit that notification bell. And today we have ourselves a very special video. Over here is the brand new Tesla Model S. And this Tesla Model S has hardware 4.0. It's the long range. And today we're going to be doing a review and we're going to be talking about this vehicle right here. It's the white with the white interior. It isn't the plaid, but I tell you, this long range is good enough. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So, all right. I would like to thank Tesla Oakville for actually allowing me to review this wonderful, spectacular vehicle. And the one thing I would say about Tesla is that when it comes to selling cars, they don't really breathe down your throat. They don't force you to buy it. As a matter of fact, I got a text from Tesla that asked if I wanted to take this car overnight and see how I liked it. So they've officially given me this car, let me use it for the whole day. Um, and I tell you, it's one of the best selling strategies out there. They know they have the best product on the market. So why not just give it to the customer and let them take the car home? I tell you, it's an amazing way to get the customer to love your vehicle. So this Tesla Model S over here happens to be the long range. And with the long range, unfortunately, you're gonna get these hideous wheels. You're gonna have to upgrade. Uh, if you want the nice wheels, it's gonna cost you about 5,000 bucks. But these wheels that come with the uh, Tesla, they're hideous. Okay, so starting off, you may notice that the design of the Tesla Model S is very familiar. Most of the updates that they made on this vehicle has been with the interior. With the exterior, the one thing that they've changed a little bit, slight a little bit, is they've widened this panel over here. And another thing that they've changed is that if you look at the front, the front now has the Model 3, Model Y type front. And they've also changed the, uh, the charge port door. So it's, very, it's been very minimal. Oh, another thing that they've done is they've uh, changed the headlights a little bit. But um, pretty much the design is the exact same. Tesla is a phenomenal company, but there's one thing they do lack in, and that has to be build quality. The build quality of these vehicles, it's not up to par with other brands such as Audi, Mercedes. With those brands, you're gonna get a little bit more panel that are a lot more thinner, and the build quality is gonna be phenomenal. For example, if you look at this hood right here, Look at this gap right here. And you'll notice that this gap, look at this gap right here. And if you look all the way down here, you know the gap gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. If you compare this gap right here and you look at this gap right here, you notice as there's a difference. And it shouldn't be like that. The gap should be consistent all the way through. And that's one of the issues that you're gonna find with Tesla. Over here on the right side, uh, you will find that it, it is a little bit more consistent. But you know what? For a car, for a $100,000 car, these type of imperfections, you shouldn't re, be, really be getting. Uh, and it's one of the issues that Tesla really needs to tighten on and really needs to get their act together 
because it's something that it's really hurting their brand because um, a lot of people are complaining. So they really need to get the production of this vehicle up to par with the, uh, their competitors. So let's do a walk around and let's take a look at this exterior. Starting off on the left side here, over here to the right side. Beautiful. These panels are flush over here. These panels are flush. Gap over here on the rear is a little bit big, but for, okay, for the most part, it's not that bad besides that hood issue that I pointed out in the front of the vehicle. So let's check these tires. Um, these are Pirelli tires. And the rim size is actually 19 inch. I actually thought they were bigger. Yeah, these are 19 inch rims. Um, oh yeah, these are hubcaps that actually come off. Um, but they're hideous. Somebody needs to design attractive hubcaps for Tesla because the ones that they have on the Model 3, Model Ys, and this vehicle, ah, it's more optimized for range, but they should uh, learn how to make a better looking uh, hubcap. So, as far as the exterior, the car is a beauty minor imperfections with the gaps and this vehicle right here offers you over about 400 miles of range um, which equates to about uh, 650 kilometers of um, range and uh, in actuality are you going to be getting that no it's an estimated range um, there's many factors that play into the range of this vehicle, and that could be the speed that you're driving, the um, whether you're using AC, whether the weather is windy, whether you are driving fast, whether you're driving slow, how much times you accelerate. So there's many factors that play into your range. Um, so let's go and let's let's talk about your cargo space and let's take a look at the trunk. So let's see if I can open this trunk up here. What you're gonna notice with this vehicle is you have a ton of trunk space. This car is actually very, very spacious. There's also room down here. For some more um, cargo space, you have a ton of space, more than enough if you plan on traveling or you, you plan on taking a vacation. Now let's open this up here. Let's open up the, uh, the front. So many of you know electric vehicles don't have an engine, so they actually have a frunk and a frunk is a space where they um oh let's open this up or you can actually store additional luggage if need be so okay so where is this trunk? Okay. Ah. I've actually, whoa. So there should be a latch somewhere on this vehicle. 
to open this up. But it looks like, it looks like we're locked out. Yeah, it looks like we're definitely locked out. Uh, so I, I won't be able to show you the, uh, the front of the, the vehicle, but another thing that uh, I can show you is the interior. And the interior of this vehicle is phenomenal. So taking a look at this in beautiful interior, before we, we move to the inside of this vehicle, let's take a look at the rear of this vehicle. This all white material here is very easy to clean. All you're gonna need is a set of baby wipes. And always remember to use a white rag. You don't wanna use a different color rag whenever you are um, cleaning this vehicle because it will stain. So taking a look over here, and I'm six foot uh, three, and I tell you, I have more than enough room back here for this vehicle. Very comfortable. It could fit about um, five adults very comfortably. A lot of leg room. And uh, one thing that you may notice that with the new Tesla model S is that now your rear passenger has a separate screen. There's actually two screens. There's one here and there's one in the front we'll, that we'll discuss in a moment. But this rear screen right here, you can actually, um, it's a separate screen in itself that you can actually watch YouTube. You can actually um, control the ventilation with the seats and uh, the air conditioning. So if you feel cold or hot, you can actually adjust it without um, interfering with the driver. The material that they used in this car is very nice. This Alcantara right here. Uh, a little bit of wood grain right here. Very minimal. You'll find that this car is very minimal. But I can assure you that the one thing that you don't lack is space. This car is a very spacious vehicle. It's actually more space than I actually ever needed. Um, I'm coming from a Model 3 and, and sitting in this car, you'll feel like, oh wow, this is a lot of space. And the one thing I like about big cars is that you tend to feel a lot safer when you're riding in a, in a bigger car. Now, moving along to the front of this vehicle. Beautiful. So, very nice. Uh, if you look over here, there's two sets of screens. There's one over here, and there's one over here that basically controls everything that you need. Over here, you have all your controls. You got search controls, pedals, suspension, charging, autopilot, locks, lights, display trips, navigation, safety, service, and software. The brilliant thing about Tesla vehicles is that this car basically lets you know if there's any issues, um, any alerts, any problems with the vehicle, the car will basically let you know um, if this car needs to be serviced, if this car uh, has an, any issues. So that's one thing that's great about this vehicle. Um, this car comes with basic autopilot and um, there's also navigation on autopilot. And the great thing about navigation on autopilot is that if you have a destination that you're 
headed to, you navigate to your destination and the car will automatically change lanes and head to your destination. It isn't full self-driving, full self-driving when it actually does everything for you from the from point A to point B, but navigation on pilot is really good for highway driving and it, it makes the whole driving process a lot more easier to uh, deal with. I tell you, uh, autopilot is a system that I use 90% uh, of the time when I'm driving. It makes uh, driving a lot better. The one thing you can do with this uh, Model S is you can adjust the suspension if you like your ride height low, if you like your ride height medium, high, uh, sport, you can really um, adjust the comfort of the vehicle. Um, you can adjust your charging, autopilot here. Uh, it has three modes of acceleration. These three modes range from chill, sport, and insane. They also have drag strip mode. You can take this car, even though it's the long range, you can take this car to the drag strip. And uh, I tell you, if you go in drag strip mode, uh, it first says conditioning for peak performance. And then it basically conditions the vehicle to optimize for the best amount of speed. So the cool thing about this vehicle is that it has no typical stock where you change from gear to gear. They've basically optimized it and turned everything digital on this vehicle. If you want to drive forward, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and put your finger up like that. It's asking for the key. Uh, Oh yeah, that's another thing. The key of the vehicle is this. It's actually a credit card. You put the card, you put the card here. And that is your key. You can also use your phone to basically get in and out of the vehicle. So that's also another key, but the main key is uh, actually a card, which is really, really cool. I'm surprised more car companies haven't adjusted to this key card. Um, so, the other thing is, uh, you have all your controls right here. And the cool thing about Tesla's is that uh, there's something called Sentry Mode. And Sentry Mode is basically uh, what Tesla uses to uh, record everything. It's a, it's a camera system. So this car has about eight cameras located all around the vehicle. And sentry mode is, is something that records incidents such as people touching your vehicle. If you get in a motor vehicle accident, it'll record everything. Um, and it's a phenomenal piece of uh, software that actually works as a security system to basically let you know if anybody touches your vehicle, goes near your vehicle, damages your vehicle, it records everything. Um, so, it has your typical lock, child safeties, you can set everything. And the one thing I like about this car is everything is all digital. You have no, no knobs, no buttons. The only buttons that you have right here is just lower button right here. Is this the hazard button? and actually physical buttons. And there's actually a couple of physical buttons on um, the steering wheel, uh, like the volume button. But does, that brings us to another thing. Look at this, look at this steering wheel. It's actually what Tesla calls the yoke steering wheel. This steering wheel, well, it looks, it's basically half of a steering wheel. There's pros and there's cons to this steering wheel. I would definitely have to say that this steering wheel, uh, you will have a little bit of issues if you plan on turning 
um, or driving with one hand. It, it really becomes impossible to drive with one hand because um, you don't have the typical turning and it becomes difficult. And Tesla has actually changed the standard of whether you're gonna get a yoke steering wheel or a normal steering wheel. Now, if you want the yoke steering wheel, you have to pay extra um, versus the typical round steering wheel, which is probably more, um, more fitted for um, the, the typical driver. One thing that Tesla has changed is also the horn. Many of you know that a lot of people are familiar with pressing this as the horn. But as you see, I'm pressing this and nothing's happening. They've actually changed the horn to a physical button. This physical button is this right here. You press this button and there you have the horn. So that's something that you're gonna have to get used to. So the other thing is um, with the Model S, you have this screen right here. You have two screens, you have this screen right here, you have this screen right here. And um, this screen definitely comes in handy because it tells you how fast you're going. And this screen right here tells you all the other information such as navigation and your car controls. The one of the cool things about owning a Tesla, as many of you may know, is that not only do you have this huge iPad right here, there's so many things that you can do with this vehicle. As you look over here, you can actually perform Zoom calls. Yes. If you're in a conference, you can actually do a conference from your car. There's a camera up here, located up here, that's recording, and you can perform a Zoom conference call in your vehicle, which is actually cool. Some of the other things that you can do in your vehicle is you have a web browser, an actual web browser that you can go to Let's type in Google over here. And you can basically search the web and go on the internet, even while you're driving. One of the other things that you can do with a Tesla is you have basically your own arcade. With the Tesla Model S, you can actually play full on games that are uh, require a lot of graphics. You also have the, your typical games over here that are pre-installed on your Teslas that are don't require a lot of uh, graphics, but if you log into Steam, you can play all the latest games such as Call of Duty. You can even set up a, a joystick. It's basically like sitting with a PS5 and you can play all the games that you could on a PS5 right in your vehicle. The graphics are phenomenal. That's one of the things that uh, you can do with a Tesla that you can't do with uh, any other vehicle. So let's go right here into theater mode. And yes, there is a theater mode. And in theater mode, you can go to Netflix, actually watch Netflix. Netflix is actually incorporated in the car. So if you're charging, you can sit back, watch a movie and sit down and enjoy. This car is like um, living in <laughs> um, a condo. And you can do a lot of things. Okay. Disney, you have Disney, you have Twitch, you have YouTube. Let's check YouTube. Actually go on YouTube 
and you can watch videos on YouTube. All the latest videos here is on YouTube. So if you like Mr. Beast, you can watch your latest Mr. Beast video. You can't do it while you're driving. But the person in the rear passenger, you remember that rear screen that I just showed you? You can actually watch videos, so your kids can actually watch videos on that rear screen. So there's actually a lot of things that you can actually do with this vehicle. It's, it's actually um, one of the most advanced vehicles on the market. There's so much things, such as Tidal, Apple Music, that, and um, also, if you want to check your theater, I mean, your energy, you can uh, go into uh, your energy, you can actually see how to, how to save more energy. It tells you if you wanna if, if you wanna save and be more efficient, go into chill mode. It tells you um, which way the wind is blowing. It, it this car has is so advanced on tech that it's unbelievable. And I love this vehicle. So there's only one more thing left to do, and that is to take this car for a test drive. So, I'm gonna adjust this camera, and why don't you come with me for a test drive? All right, so let's take this car for a test drive. All right, so put your foot on the brake, put this up here, and we are ready to go. And I tell you that this vehicle right here, you do not even need the performance or plaid mode with this vehicle. It, this one right here is fast. Let's do a little bit of an acceleration. Whoa! Oh my God! Would you look at that? It's fast. It's really, really fast. Um, it's it's the ride quality is far better than the Model Three or Model Y, which doesn't have an air suspension. Um, but this car and the Model X, they the 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 ride quality is far better. So, um, yeah, this vehicle. So getting used to this yoke steering wheel, um, definitely have to put two hands on the yoke steering wheel uh, at all times. Remember, uh, it's not like the traditional uh, normal steering wheel, so always put two um, hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal vehicle. I'm actually gonna head over to the supercharger right now. Uh, so let's let's take a ride to the supercharger. Oh wow, this there was actually a cop that actually turned onto incoming traffic. Wow, that was weird. But anyways, let's continue on. Um, and the cool thing about Tesla's is they come standard with autopilot and this autopilot system allows you to take advantage of this AI driven auto drive system that the, the car basically has. At one touch of a button on the steering wheel right here, let's push that, 
car is in automatic auto driving. Now the car is driving by itself. And the one thing that's really, really cool about the autopilot system is that it will never drive over the speed limit. And it will always stay centered in the lanes. That's one, that's one thing that you may notice with um, Teslas is that um, whenever you see them on the road, if they're in autopilot, you're gonna notice that this car is centered right in the middle of the lanes and it stays in the middle of the lanes. It doesn't, it doesn't um, go from left to right and go back and forth. You're gonna stay right in the middle of the lanes and that's one cool thing about the autopilot system. It keeps you safe and the whole autopilot system is optimized for safety. Safety is number one when it comes to Tesla. It's probably the most safest car in the world. Um, so safety is number one. So um, thank you for watching. If you're thinking about ordering a Tesla Model S, X, 3, Y, even a Cybertruck, remember to use a referral code. Do not, I tell you, do not go buy your vehicle without using referral code because a referral code is gonna actually give you money off of your Tesla. Also, it's gonna give you perks, such as three months of free full self-driving and Tesla credits, which you can use to get free supercharging credits. So I advise you, use a referral code. My referral code will be in the link description below where um, you and I will both get credit. So you'll get credit and I'll get credit for giving you a referral code. And, and once you buy a Tesla, everybody gets a referral code. So that's one of the cool perks about owning a Tesla. So that's been my little review of this uh, Tesla Model uh, S. Um, I think it's a phenomenal vehicle. And even right now, you can order a standard range Tesla Model S, which is a software locked vehicle that comes with about 300 miles worth of range. And I tell you, that's, that's practically all you need if you own a Tesla. So, thank you for watching. And that's all I got to say. So take care and have a nice day.